Hey guys, it's Master Mary Broda. We're gonna to work today a little bit, a uh, really quick technique just to uh, give you guys something different to play with. So we're gonna work on spinning kicks, specifically spin back hook kick. All right, and I'm gonna show you a couple different strategies, the uh, ways to do it, and some mistakes to avoid. All right, so the difference between the hook kick and the wheel kick is the hook kick lands in front. Um, I like that kick a lot because a lot of the times when you hit something, if you're at a board, your leg goes all the way through. So a wheel kick, the difference is when I do my wheel kick, my foot all comes back to the point of origin. And what I mean by that is if I'm here and I go to spin, my foot comes all the way back. Um, the difference is if I throw my hook kick and I spin, I hook kick and I land in front. So I hook kick, boom, and I land in front. All right, so we're gonna work on the hook kick because as I landed, I'm right back here in my stance ready to fire my hands, okay? So I'm gonna use this. Um, this is right around, I don't know, my jawline. All right, and I'll throw one and I'll show you some techniques as to how to practice it. Um, when I do this, I don't wanna counter wind. What I mean is if I'm spinning this way, I don't wanna pull this shoulder back to go forward. I don't wanna wind myself up. I want everything to move in the direction that I'm kicking when I do it. All right, so from here, when I do this, I kick and I land in front. Watch again. I'm going to kick, but I'm not going to go like this. I'm going to go forward, even if I have to throw my front hand. If I throw my front hand, it starts my shoulders moving towards the target. So from here, I'm going to go and then down. All right, now a couple of different ways to work on that, and it's really good for your abdominal and your core, is to light spin back and touch. It's also a balance exercise. And it's, it's challenging, but you can do it. So I'll go, boom. And then I'll bring my foot right back. And then I'll do it again. So I'm not throwing it with a lot. I'm just lifting, boom. And then look all the way back. A lot like we do with our back kick when we do that, okay? Now, if you don't have this target at home, it's not a big deal. Use a focus point, okay? So again, the wheel kick, goes all the way through. So I'll demonstrate one more time. I'm here, my starting point is here, my leg goes all the way through. Boom, all the way through to its point of origin. When I'm doing my hook kick, I land in front. So I'm gonna hook, boom, and I land in front. One more time, watch. I hook to the front, and I land in front. Okay? Practice that, um, go slow. Remember to do both sides of your body and have fun with it. So maybe five of those touches. You can even have mom or dad hold their hand up. Touch with your heel. Don't try to uh, hurt them. Um, a couple of real quick ideas, because I saw um, online, you can use a pillow, because a pillow gives, okay? You can use an empty milk jug. So if you have a plastic milk jug, you can use one of those. Um, they're fairly soft and they make a pretty cool noise. If you guys have, X-ray paper, some of you may, some of you may not. That's really cool. So anything that's soft that you can hold with your hand or the hand, but if mom and dad are holding uh, their hand out for you, let's not break their hand. Understand? Hey, have a fantastic Saturday and uh, let's train hard.